Dear students, welcome back to our tutorials in drawing our puncture device. In the previous videos, we finished drawing three parts the base part, front and top view of the base part, tightening piece, and pressing hand. Let's go to our drawing and see our detailed drawing. Now we'll deal with our shaft piece part. Sorry. So, this is our shaft, it's a cylindrical shaft. In AutoCAD Mechanical, there is a helpful tool. It's a shaft generator. It's located on the content. And we'll click on our shaft generator to draw our shafts. First, we have to define the name of our shaft. We'll just write simply shaft. Sorry. Goes to other language. Shaft. Enter. Now, we have to define a line as a center line doesn't matter how the long of it if I take it horizontally it will be a horizontal shaft if, if I take it vertically it will be a vertical shaft so I'll take it from here to here and now we have a shaft generator dialog box appears we have outer contour, contour and inner contour it's inside our shaft if we have something inside this shaft we don't have it but we'll deal with it in other parts I'll take a cylindrical, we have all of them, it's cylindrical, we have other type of shapes in our shaft. First we begin with cylindrical, and here it asks us the length, and it will be ask other the diame diameter. Let us see. So we have our shaft here, first part is 124 by 20, the other part is 30 by 6, it's and we'll continue. Our first part, the distance is 124 and the diameter is 20. Let's go. And 124 the length for the length and 20 for the diameter. Here's our first part of our shaft. We have another part. The dimension of our other part is the length 6 and the diameter is 30. So I go back here and give it 6, enter, 30, enter, and I draw the. It's very easy. I'll take the other part of my shaft and check my dimension. I have the length of 3 6 and the diameter of 20. So I'll go back here and give it 3 6, enter 20. And here is my part. Again, cylinder. Check. And you'll see that we have a distance of 4 by 12 diameter. So I'll go back here and give it 4. 12 here's my part now if we go back to our shaft we'll see that we don't have a simple cylindrical shape here we have a thread m16 by 1.5 and the length of the thread is 16 so we'll take another shape of our shafts parts it's tabbed end okay let's go here and check where is our tabbed end here's our tabbed end we click on them and we have our threads here we take an iso external thread okay and we have our external thread regular thread the length of our thread is how much as we said here 16 so I set the length 16 and that metric thread 16 by point 0.1 I'll check I'll see it fetch it in our table 16 here is my 15 16 by 1.5 So, we set the length from the table, we found our needed or desired thread. I click OK and close and I'll see. This is my shaft is ready. I'll save and see you in the next tutorial.